Varun is asking, how do I verify higher layers in the memory layered architecture, specifically awakened and above? So there are only two ways to verify. First is your, your own direct experience and second is logic. So the, la- the layer of awareness, awakened is not a layer, I think it is a state. The layer of awareness is the highest that can be perceived directly in humans. After that, there are some layers which cannot be perceived directly and they must be inferred. And uh, for example, the causal layer can be seen but not directly. It can be inferred from whatever uh, tendencies you are born with, whatever impressions that you are showing in this life, whatever your major desires that are you are sure they are yours, they are not implanted by somebody else. And no other source of those tendencies and desires is found. Then that that becomes uh, evidence for the causal layer. Now there are layers like greater family and all those layers. Uh, You cannot uh, get direct evidence of that. It must be seen in your life events that you keep meeting the same kind of people keep meeting same person or you are attracted towards a particular person who looks familiar and all. They belong to this area in the memory. There is a causal causal overlap, we say, causal connection. And the rest is logic. But uh, higher than that is very easy. Like the greater memory is whatever you are looking at right now. The world, the bodies, people, that is the greater memory. It is verified directly by direct experience. And uh, again, the logic says that there will be many such. There is no rule that there will be only one greater memory area. Then the universal memory, very easy to verify. Everything is just one memory. We do not see any boundaries and all. The logic says that there is one continuous sea of vibrations, which is non-physical, non mental If there are divisions, then what will be there in between these areas? That question arises, but there is no such in between, you see, there is no space and there is no time. Memory is non-local, non-temporal. How how will you separate different areas in the memory? It's impossible. So take a few layers and uh, try to find the evidence in your experience. Don't try to look at the memory layer. It's impossible. Only the manifestation of the memory will be seen. So I'm going to ask Varun, is there any particular layer that you are not able to find, verify? Is there any particular layer where there is no, absolutely no evidence at all? Not even logical. Because you see, logic is accepted as a means of knowledge. If the logic says, yes, it is, then it is. And remember that if there is no evidence, then it does not exist. You can remove that layer from your model. But that is not important. It is important to know that the memory is layered like this. That is the essence of this program. I mean, the essence of the videos in the program is to give you an idea that look, this can be the structure. Yes, the structure can keep changing a little bit here and there. Hardly matters. If you get an evidence of another layer, you can insert it there. It is science. It keeps changing. Science always changing. Truth never changes. And these layers and all this, they keep changing. Parthip is saying, I was going through nodes and layers of memory. Two things are there in awakened layer. Non-physical bodies, memory bridge for connection between causal body and lower layers. Can you touch upon what's there Then there in them for a seeker? Have you experiment with rega- reading ca- causal body of others? No, there is no need to experiment like this, you know. There is no need to read causal bodies of others. You can simply ask, (laughs) what do they want? And that is the reading. So non-physical body is very simple. It is just projected body. If you have done the projection practices, you will get the evidence of it. Now, I I, am actually saying most of the time that this body is also non-physical. Is this body physical? I am asking Parthip, the body you, you are witnessing. Yeah, that is what, you know, that is how we get the evidence. This is also projected body. There is... What happens is, when you get a separate experience of the projected bodies, then it is confirmed that this one is the projected. Because this one is also coming up from a memory, which is called the greater memory. There is nothing physical. And so, if one does not exist, 
its opposite also does not exist so nothing is non physical that is why it is called np nm no divisions not even any difference in qualities if you encounter a non physical bo- i mean a body that is not this one you will see something similar there is a structure you will see some people have reported seeing a structure in their projected bodies just like we have this it has uh, blood uh, veins arteries bones and uh, organs nervous system very organic structure is there in this body many people have reported that the so called light body occult practitioners has very fine structure so everybody is most welcome to go and check method has been given in on the path of knowledge if something cannot be shown then the method is given because as you know all your experiences are subjective all are subjective all are same not physical not mental so those who are interested they should do the experiments if you you will find the same thing that's that is guaranteed that you find in your normal everyday experience you are going to find it everywhere because the memory is similar everywhere like you go to a jungle and you study one tree oh it has branches it has trunk it has roots it has leaves there are green leaves sometimes there are fruits sometimes not flowers and then you check one or two more trees just to make sure and then you relax and enjoy the view because every tree is same same way every world is same in the essential nature every body is same in essential layered functional senses memory local memories the ego same everything repeats the illusion is very big but the good thing is repeats imagine if everything were unique if every electron were unique would you be able to study anything at all no there is repetition that is what you will find in the whole manifestation actually there is something interesting that i found one scientist who said all the electrons are one electron <laughs> they are not only similar they are not only copies he says it is one only something which is amazing because how will you differentiate between one two electrons how exact match plus they are non local non temporal also so one thing is projecting as many one pattern many the music is best uh, metaphor for these things you see when you are playing a song there are notes in the music now you listen to the song next day you play the same song will you say that today the note is different yesterday the pian- piano that sounded is different from the piano that is sounding today that i heard today it is exactly the same note you won't say that you know i am looking at something else you will say i am hearing the same thing so vibration same vibration everywhere number 2 memory bridge for connection between causal body and lower layers there is already a memory bridge otherwise the creature won't function otherwise you will never get any impulses desires or uh, there won't be much in the life there is already a connection that is why the, this creature is functioning remove the causal body death the bridge is so strong that if you remove the bridge instantly the creature will die and that that is what is happening in the death this connection is broken when the body becomes weak and um, unfit for more experiences eyes are not seeing the ears are not hearing and the uh, stomach is not digesting and the lungs are not breathing so causal body says okay i had enough of this thing cuts the connection and this thing this puppet then takes few breaths and dies so even birth is a process of making a memory bridge death is a process of deleting that bridge whenever you are doing the projected experiments projection state you are taking new birth when you come back here you are dying for a practitioner death and birth becomes like child's play you can do it every day twice thrice it does not matter then you get bored of it and you say enough of it only when there is a need you produce a body and do your job and you back in the non physical causal body should I, should i not protect it there is no i nothing needs to be done should i not feed it no 
nothing needs to be fed why do we need to feed the physical body because you know it is bound by the physical laws but the causal bodies in other bodies that are more pure that are not found in this physical world will need nothing no maintenance mother nature maintains everything creatures don't maintain anything mother nature has given enough protection the creatures don't need to protect anything now should i not form uh, the memory bridges every time no nature does it you just watch you are the witness you are not the doer watch the play it's very amazing it is not going to go away it is eternal it's not also boring even though it is repeating it repeats in different ways there is this illusion of ignorance that keeps everything new and exciting feels as if it is happening for first time but it's all a repeat no recall of it you don't remember it so everything is arranged nicely properly perfectly enjoy prateep is asking which layer can project a form in order to experience you and around everything can project in the especially in the higher layers that is what the diagram shows that every layer has a corresponding projected body projected st- structure so we not only we have the physical projection which is your physical body there is a possibility of something called the etheric projection which is the projection of only and the feelings or you can say sensations there is corresponding body to that that can be projected which means that can be activated there is you know no separation like the classical occult people believe nothing comes out of the body <laughs> only the attention moves in these layers similarly there is a projection of the emotional body the layer of emotions and so on around those areas that is called the astral projection and there is a projection of the intellect that will be called the mental projection similarly the whole causal body can project that is what is happening right now similarly the, there can be a representative projection of the greater family it is possible the combined spirit of the tribe we call it like this can project can can come and manifest in the physical also but obviously i won't be able to give you evidence of that it can take any form you know sometimes animal forms and these tribal people they believe all these things there is some truth in that and obviously in india we call everything is gods and goddesses so <laughs> it is very easy then the greater memory can project which is called an avatar whenever an avatar is seen it is a projection of the greater memory it is sent for maintenance purpose clean up and you know teaches something whenever there is loss of knowledge in something some are very vocal and bright and obvious and but most of them they work in background then there are more like the guru field is another layer you see which spans the greater memories and probably you already have the evidence for that that it can be projected anywhere in any any form it can take any form at all and the higher you go the more active guru field will be seen in lower not much <laughs> we are the mediums it needs because it's too high you know the compatibility is not there between the vibrations so the work is mediated it is given delegated to humans they do not come down directly only very rarely and so on the universal memory you know we don't know what can it project but we only know this much that whatever is projected is universal memory whatever is manifested is already a projection of the universal it does not need a specific body specific structure that is beyond intellect so that is why the diagram shows like this this shows tiny icons of bodies corresponding to all layers actually i forgot what i had shown there <laughs> and uh, this model can be expanded like this now how to get the experience of it very easy very easy train your attention to exclude all layers except one layer that will be called a projection how can i form the body no 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 it is already there nobody can form a body <laughs> yes you can change it you can change the appearance of it same memory can be seen in different ways just like you have data in the excel sheet now you can make a line chart or you can make a bar chart or you can make a pie chart from the same information similarly 
there is information in the memory it can take another form any form you desire so what is our tendency as humans we are stuck with the human form i need hands oh, i need to get out of the room i need feet also oh, i need to go to my friend in the other country i need wings okay wings so it is our limitation that gives a form otherwise nothing is needed so those who are mahagurus those who are greatest of all they don't do all these childish things they sit here and they know what they want to know they sit here and they do what they want to do one of my teacher says that i am projecting all the time in all the layers and that is the truth actually we are very big i am the universal memory now what remains in knowing that we lose this immaturity of experimenting with these things the curiosity is silenced that means nothing needs to be done so this is the path of knowledge direct no experimentation needed whatever you want directly happens and finally you say that everything is perfect as it is the current experience is the best one and so you stop doing it